Einstein was driving away from a clock tower when he imagined he could drive at the speed of light. He realized that if he did, the clock's hands would look like they had stopped, but he knew that they would keep ticking at their normal speed. For Einstein, time had slowed down. So how does this work? Einstein called it special relativity. The rate at which time passes depends on the observer's frame of reference. Let's break that down. There are two things we have to understand. The speed of light is constant. Light is the fastest thing possible. It also always travels at the same speed, no matter what, or where. And the second is that there is no fixed frame of reference. For example, looking out the car window, to the person sitting in the car, it looks like the people outside are moving. But to the people outside the car, the person inside looks like they are moving. In Einstein's theory, both are equally true. Likewise, speed is measured compared to something else. For example, a train looks like it is traveling at 10 kilometers per hour to someone standing still on the platform. But to someone on the purple train moving at 4 kilometers per hour, the blue train looks like it is moving at only 6 kilometers per hour. Therefore, the train may be moving at the same speed, but it's different depending on the frame of reference. Okay. But how does this apply to time travel? Well, what is a future but a location in time? So if you think about it, traveling from the present to the future is like getting from one place to another. So it makes sense that the faster you go, the sooner you get there. The time we take is personal to us. It depends on our frame of reference. Using this idea, Einstein proved that the faster you move, the slower time moves. Scientists have done experiments to show this. For example, there were two accurate clocks set to the exact same time. One clock stayed on Earth while the other flew in an aeroplane. After flying around the world really fast, scientists compared the two clocks. The clock on the aeroplane was slightly behind the clock on the ground. So time had slowed down for the people on the aeroplane than the people on Earth. Now imagine that you were flung into space at almost exactly the speed of light and traveled for 10 years before coming back. But for the people on Earth, 29 years would have passed. You would return in 2051, having age only 10 years. Time travel is possible.